Don't be a stranger in the night Take a chance for some romance Don't copy your eyes Good morning my lovelies Happy Wednesday or whatever day you're watching this video. How are you all? I feel like the past few videos <laughs> I've started them all in my beauty room But it's just because I finished getting ready my camera my battery is in here So I've just popped it in so it's just easy to be like hi, but welcome back to my channel This is finally the video that we have been waiting for which is the living room transformation And I'm so excited the new sofa is getting delivered tomorrow so I thought today is currently Sunday and if you watched my previous video you would know that I already spoke to you guys about this but I wanted to show you guys mine and Bradley's food shop because I get so many questions. I always ask you guys on my Instagram because I just want to keep updated with what you guys want to see, all that kind of content and all of you are so sweet and you just say we love what you do but we'd love to see more about like your health journey and your fitness journey and all that kind of stuff. So I thought I could incorporate it into this video as well and I could take you guys food shopping um, I'll show you guys everything that we pick up as well um, and it would just be a really nice video and then tomorrow obviously I'll show you guys the new sofas and the living room transformation and I'm so excited so all good stuff the reason that I'm in my gym wear is because I'm gonna do a little workout at home I bought some dumbbells because sometimes at the gym in the morning we're in a rush or like I do loads of cardio and then I'm just so tired and then I just I kind of need to get into the routine of doing more weights at the gym by myself getting a lot more confident which I think you know I'll obviously show you guys and we can develop together but yeah i bought some dumbbells and i think i've got a mat coming today so i'm going to do a little mini workout at home just a small little circuit and every sunday i always put gym wear on <laughs> so yeah i love it anyway i'm going to show you guys my outfit which is literally just my gym wear and then i'll show you guys everything that i got if you also watched my last video bradley said that he's going to cook with you guys so that's exciting he'll cook with you guys in a little bit i think we're going to have chicken gyros or something so I'm really excited for that honestly he showed me the um like tiktok thing yesterday of this person making it and it looks amazing and he was like i'll take the camera and i'll do it with them so i can't wait so this is my outfit of the day i've just got my gym shoes on these are nike ones i love them they're probably the most comfiest gym shoes i've ever worn um they're really comfy to run in and stuff i'm the kind of person that every like every time i get a new pair of shoes I get blisters or like they're just uncomfortable in some kind of way but they're really comfy um h&m actually everything is from h&m my leggings this top um this jacket and then my sports bra all h&m i'll pop a link to it down below because i love it i think h&m gym wear is like one of my favorites very much up there i also love glow mode um, their quality is insane and what else do I like? Gymshark I like as well but this is just a bit more on the affordable side and I love it and I think I'm going to put a gilet over the top maybe a scarf because it is very cold and windy outside um, so yeah let's go to Tesco's. I also follow Tesco's on Instagram because you know I like to support my favourite brands and I've seen they have loads of really nice gym wear so I think we should have a look together I think we should Good morning, Bradlina. Good morning. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. I'm a bit hungry. Yeah. Bradley's a little bit hungry. I can always tell when he, yeah, his yeah, mood. Yeah. Oh, I like this way. I do like this way, like the scenery. Yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, we're on our way to Tesco's. And what did you say you're going to do for everyone today? Chicken gyros. Get off. Get off. Um, oh, it's going to make me feel like we're in Greece again. <coughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Don't get too excited. Yeah. I've never done it before. Um, Bradley saw it, like I said, on was it TikTok or Reels or something? Yeah. Um, and he's going to make it with everyone. And I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. And we're going to have wedges, aren't we, with it? Yeah. Um, and then we've written a list down of our food shop. So when we get home, I'll show you guys everything that we pick up. Is there anything in particular that you want or need? Mm. Creatine? We didn't get that, did Yeah. I normally get it from bulk, don't I? Oh, yeah. I get a couple of other bits. So yeah. Um, but I'll see. We'll have a little look at the protein section. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see you guys at Tesco's. I can't really see because it's really bright. Okay, so we've just done our Tesco shop. I didn't film when we were in there because it was so busy, but I thought obviously I'm going to show you guys what we got when we got home. 
Um, so as you can see, we've got a lot of food. This is for dinner tonight and then all lunches throughout the week and then snacks and stuff. So I'll start over here. Um, we've got some teriyaki sauce and we've also got plum and hoisin. So each of us are having stir fries for lunch. brady has got the high protein noodles. I've just got normal because these ones are a little bit less calories. And then he's going to have teriyaki and then I'm going to have some plum and hoisin. Then we've got some chicken. This is for today and the week as well. So obviously we're going to have it throughout the week Freddie's gonna have it with his noodles and stuff so yeah it is for both we've got some potatoes which is for wedges today fresh apple juice I always get the one that isn't from concentrate then we've got self-raising flour wraps and um, these are some bits that we needed like toiletry stuff I'm really excited to use this I think I'm gonna have a bath later um cooked prawns that's for my stir fry lemons but I realized we've got the lemons first and I always do obviously my ginger and lemon we went to a different Tesco's and they didn't have any ginger, so I feel like I might have to get some tomorrow. We've got some skewers here. This is for today. Um, Bradley is going to do that with you. Peppers, onions, spring onions, eggs, popcorn. Bradley got this. It's 20 grams of protein. I think you put it in water and it kind of tastes like juice, but it's protein, which is cool. So I think um, that, yeah, that's his grated carrot i always pop this in with my stir fry and it tastes so much nicer and it like fills it out as well flat leaf parsley i think this is for today cucumber um, mushrooms so i think for one um lunch in the week i'm gonna make for heaters and i got wraps in case i did want wraps but i'm gonna make it into like a salad and i feel like we can do that together because i done that in my last video and you guys were like oh i want to see how you done it so I think I might do that. So that is what the mushrooms are for. Um, Bradley got some protein porridge. These are really good snacks. Penguin if you're craving any chocolate. Um, some protein yogurts. These are my favourite. I either have them on its own. Like these are really good on the go. Or I pop them in my smoothie. And um, we got this. Because Bradley needs this for today. For the chicken. I think you kind of like have to bash it to make it as flat as possible. Um, we got some 50% reduced fat cheese. This is for the doggies. This looks amazing. I'm so excited to try that. Milk. I don't really, I normally have oat milk, but this is good for like hot chocolates and teas and stuff. Greek style yogurt, which we're going to use today. And then I'm also going to have that with my fajitas throughout the week for lunches. Um, this is Bradley's. It's a lot of protein in here. Of course, balance. We've got cream eggs. I'm obsessed with cream eggs, so I've got these ones. And we've got the fajita seasoning mix. This is my absolute favourite one. Plum tomatoes, strawberries. I'm going to have these tonight, I think, with some halo ice cream. Um, some Sprite. This is the no sugar one. These are just so lovely. Um, and then dog food. So that is our food shop. And then, like I said, you guys, we also get Gusto delivered to us. Um, it's coming tomorrow. We didn't have it last week because they skipped it for some reason. We didn't skip it, they did. But I'm so excited for that to come. We either get Gusto or HelloFresh. We like change it up because they're literally the same. And they're just so easy and handy. And we always look out for like the calories and stuff in each of them. Um, so I'm excited to have that because it's such lovely dinners. So easy to do. Um, and you get like different, sorry, brenda has got a telly on. Um, you get like different meals and stuff each day so it's amazing so yeah that is our current food selection um also our favorite snack to have and i think i've spoken to you guys about it before is this if you can get hold of salt and vinegar rice cakes you pop on a really thin layer of this this one and then also you have to kind of like peel a cucumber and then top it with salt and pepper and it's the most amazing snack ever and really low calorie. So that's one of our favorites. But anyway, I'm gonna put all of this away and then Bradley said he is gonna pick with you. You have to kind of like hold that bit, you see? Yeah. Oh. Bradley's doing the takeover now. Stuck with me. Well, um, 
Are you set up okay? I've tried. So, we are going to be making some chicken gyros that I found on Instagram. Um, literally just scrolling last night and said to Amy I want to try and cook it. So, here we are. So this is what it should look like. Expectation. <laughs> That's how easy it should be, and that's how it should look, and we will give it our best shot. Is it going to look like that? Can I get the... I'm just putting a wash on. Yummy! Greek night! Greek night! Thank you so much my baby. No problem. Looks amazing. So these are the wraps, chicken, and then this is Bradley's tzatziki but we forgot to get mint. So it's just cucumber and then wedges and garlic. And garlic. Yummy! I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. So, okay, nice. how was dinner Bradley? We haven't spoken to you about how dinner really nice. It was so nice. It was. Highly recommend it. We're just going to do the um, what are they called? Flatbreads, thinner. Yeah, you've got to do them a little bit thinner. Oh my god, for my lunars destroyed. It's moving out of the way. Wow. Anyway, we are now moving the sofa for the second time. So yeah, dinner was really lovely. Um, I also got my 10,000 steps in and done a circuit workout, and I feel so tired, like so sleepy. I could literally fall asleep right now. I'm so tired. But I also want to have a bath. Um, I bought this when we went to Tesco's. I never use Radox. I'm always like a Dove or Nivea kind of gal. But it looked really nice. Little bath soak. One pound something. So um, I'm going to have that in a minute. So we're just going to put the sofas in the garage. We were originally going to sell them. So we put them in the garage to sell them. So we didn't have any sofas for a little bit. But my mum said that she wants them. So the sofas are going to go to my mum now. So we're going to put them in our garage for a little bit. And then she is picking them up this week, which is exciting. So yeah, time to get rid of sofas again, Bradley. <laughs> it's literally another workout. Oh. Good morning, everyone. So it is now a few days later, which means our sofas have been delivered <laughs> and i'm so excited so i'm going to turn the camera around in a second and show you these are literally my dream sofas i remember saying to bradley maybe six months ago i really want this design of like living room with this color sofa this color accent cushions which we need to put together and this is just the vibe but i'm just so excited to show you before i show you i'm gonna pop a link to them in the description box down below in case you guys are looking for sofas as well these were really kindly gifted to us from an amazing homeware brand called dusk you guys know i love and adore dusk so much a lot of our homeware stuff is from there so when they reached out and were like we'd love to send you some sofas i was like I was so excited, sorry about the telly in the background, I was so excited and I've had my eye on these ones for so long, so are you guys ready? 
Okay, so I've waited for today to put the cushions on together, like the accent cushions. But are you ready? Three, two, one. It's blurry. <laughs> Come on, Canon. Okay, so these are our new beautiful sofas from Dusk. So these are called Soho. They come in two different colours. Um, this colour, which is obviously a really lovely kind of light beige. They're much lighter than our other sofas. Um, and I couldn't love this colour even more than I do. It is ideal. And you can see just the high quality up close. Um, and they also come in a darker grey as well. So if you're looking for more of like the darker look, they also have that one. Um, so this is the three-seater. I'm not even joking, you guys. It is massive. It looks so much bigger in person than it does on camera. So we've got the three-seater there and then the two-seater. And then this, will you believe it? Just a footstool. No, no. This is an Ottoman footstool. So we've got our blankets in here. Um, I washed them so they smell amazing. So, yeah, it's an Ottoman footstool. So we're actually going to get rid of this basket finally, which lived over there with all our blankets in because we can just have them in here now, which is amazing. And Lena loves it as well. Um, they are just amazing. I honestly just feel so grateful that they sent them to us. These are my dream sofas and I'm just, I'm obsessed with them. You guys always ask like what sofas and stuff that I like. And obviously about the new ones, so I'll pop a link to them in the description box down below in case you guys wanted to pick them up. Let me show you how big these are. Also, ignore the hoover. I do need to hoover. But like, this is my seat. There's just so much room. Come on, Lina. Come up. Oh. oh, my darling. You like the sofas too. It's just so spacious. There's so much room. And it's just so cosy. I love it. So as you can see... Let me come closer because I I'm shouting. So yeah, as you can see, we haven't put any cushions or anything on them yet because they sent them to me here and I wanted to do it with you. I mean, I felt bad unboxing the sofas yesterday without you guys. It was so funny. So they got delivered and they come in boxes. The only thing you need to do is take them out of the box and just put the little feet on the ends of the sofa here, which is easy. I done it by myself and I look back at it and I'm like how did I do that because I had to take it out of the box all the recycling more recycling take it out of the box kind of lift it on its side screw the feet in then take all the cushions off and then put it like straight like that so the feet didn't bend or anything I'm so happy that it's done and they're here I'm also really sorry about the lighting it's the most miserable day today it was so miserable yesterday and after they came it was like it was so dark because they got delivered around half 11 ish um, and it was just so dark and I was like okay I'll just film tomorrow I'll have nice lighting and yeah Annoyingly, it's not the nicest of days, but I'm gonna post a picture and stuff on my Instagram in case you guys wanted to see it up close. I'm obsessed, so obsessed. Anyway, I think we should unbox these and I can show you guys the accent cushions that we're going for. I think you're gonna be really surprised. I was even surprised. Like, it was like I wrote the color that I wanted and then as I went to press send for the email, it was like someone took over my body deleted the, that colour and picked another colour so let's see I've also got a new coffee table or side table um, which is in the hallway and I'm so excited also sorry about the mess can you see under there Luna got hold of her donut didn't you um, and all the stuffing has been coming out which is great but anyway let's open these that's one box Oh my god, I've got a new throw, which I'm going to pop over the footstool, I think. Look, you guys, I've gone for black. Can you believe it? This is like the least me thing to do, but I wanted to add contrast to it because we've obviously got a very simple and plain home that I just thought these would look so lovely. So yeah, they feel amazing. So I'm gonna pop these in the inserts and then I've got a couple of these ones as well. So I've got square ones and then the rectangle ones that I think I'll pop in the middle. So my battery's flashing, which is annoying. I thought I charged it. Um, so I'm gonna quickly change my battery and then we can pop them on the sofa. Um, I've also got a hallway rug 
to go here you guys always ask me about my hallway rug basically maybe last week or week before luna and lottie were really poorly we obviously took them to the vets and stuff and they're now fine but they were very sick both ends um which meant we tried to scrub the rug but because it's i think it's called jute jute rug it was just unsavable, <laughs> like completely unsavable. So I had to order a new one. And um, so we can put that down together as well. And you guys always ask where that's from. And um, anyway, new battery. I never thought in the wildest dream I'd see you again. Never dreamed about nothing else other than you. I always thought I'd be waiting, waiting in vain, but suddenly there you were. Never thought it'd be easy to feel you in my arms, but now we're here and I'm all in, and I want it by you, cause I can stay till the morning, or stay till the dawn. about the washing machine <laughs> in the background it is currently on but i wanted to show you guys a little hack that i do you probably already know but if you don't i thought i could share so if you have any rugs on hard floor you will know that they slip really easily i love having my rugs down um, and one thing that i always wish is that they would just kind of stay so these things that i buy from amazon are these carpet like sticker things so one side says carpet and that sticks to your carpet and then this side as you can see says on the floor so if i pop you guys here you'll be able to see so if i peel the stickers back you'll be able to stick these on the floor and then it won't move you i know your body's been waiting to so yeah, I love them. They're so handy, especially when you have a rug that just <laughs> slips all over the place. It makes such a difference using these. Um, so I'll pop them in the description box down below for you guys. This is currently what the living room is looking like. I absolutely love it. I think the contrast with the cushions is just amazing. I really do love it. I, over time, want to get a new lamp over here. I'm thinking like a black and white one or maybe a ribbed, like clear one, I think will look nice. Because at the minute it's quite like gold, as you can see. And um, one thing I do love, I love having our black curtain poles. I do wish they were thicker. I think when we next go to Ikea, which I'm not gonna lie, will probably be ages away, but it's not like a necessity. So I just think next time we go, I'll pick them up. So definitely want thicker ones, um, but I love it. This is, this side table, I cannot believe it is 30 pounds. 30 pounds um, I'm gonna pop a link for it in the description box because I feel like this is gonna go really fast I was umming and ahhing for ages I'm not gonna lie it was in my basket even before I got these sofas because I just love the style of it it's so simple and I can't believe it's 30 pounds like the glass on here is really thick as well and yeah I'm in shock so I'll pop a link for it down below so this corner over here I'm not too sure what to do because there's a lot of space 
so I'm not sure whether to bring this over here and get like a plant maybe I should get an olive plant like tree kind of thing here what do you guys think what would you do with this space my sister said that I should get two of those and do like double um but i'm not sure let me know what you guys think because there is space there to be like kind of filled i mean i could leave it it's not like something i need to fill anytime soon but i don't want it to look like kind of wasted space if that makes sense luna's sniffing them checking them out another thing that dusk really kindly sent me were these curtains now i'm not sure if these are the right measurements i'm gonna take one out and have a look because if they are i'm gonna put them up right now because the colors of them really like match the sofa nicely um and i like the rings but i'm just praying that the measurements are fine so we'll open them together won't we luna where's your sister where's lottie what do you guys think of the sofas so far i love them um i've had some questions like what are you doing with your old sofas because i bought them maybe a year and a, a bit ago or something i can't remember when i got them but my mum is gonna have them so it's all good do you know what these might fit i think we should measure i love these and they go with the sofa so much better they're a bit lighter than the ones we've got <gasps> okay let's have a look okay can we just ignore our swing in our garden honestly we put it up and the wind just knocks it down so we've given up <laughs> and it's broken so we need to take it to the tip because of the wind a couple of months back it's like ripped everything poles have snapped in half so we need to get a new one do you know what i think these are the same length oh are these a bit shorter mm. I'm so upset, but these are just too short. I can't believe I got the wrong measurements because I remember I just looked at what measurements these curtains were, but these are so much shorter. So I must have been sent longer ones of these. It's annoying because these would obviously, these would obviously be fine there, but they obviously need to match. I just, I love the top bit as well and the colors of them. Okay, I need to put the other ones back on. So I think with these ones, I might put them in our bedroom, actually. Because the ones we have at the moment are literally, basically, like, just this bit. Um, and they're not blackout at all. So I think it'll be nice to have actual curtains. So I think I'm going to pop these in the bedroom. And then maybe order longer ones <laughs> to go in here. I'm so sad, but it's fine. Um, this is the colour of them. Up close. And the material. Beautiful. Like, so lovely. So yeah, really love them. Gutted that I didn't get the right length. I'm just such an idiot. So yeah, I'm honestly so happy and so grateful for these sofas. I honestly this is my actual dream i feel like on camera it looks like they take up so much space and i'm not gonna lie they are big but they really don't there's actually so much room so about the dog toy i'm honestly just so happy with them oh i love them what do you guys think about the black cushions as well i saw it on their website and i was torn between either these ones or beige ones to match the sofa and then i thought the beige ones are so lovely but i really want to add more black into the front room just because i really like contrast um, and i love the little side table so i thought this is perfect so yeah again for the material and the texture this is what it looks like and then these are the cushions as well and then this throw i'm not even joking is the softest throw ever you guys know that all of our bedding and our pillows everything is all from dusk because we genuinely just love it so much and it's just such high quality but really amazing prices and i love that so yeah i know they've also got this sofa in a sofa bed as well so if you're looking for a sofa bed that looks so lovely 
They've also got a sofa bed. I think if I was to get one sofa and not like get two, I'd probably just get the sofa bed. I wanted them to completely match because I think the sofa bed comes down a bit. Luna loves them too and so does Lottie. So yeah, this is my new seat and I sit here and they've got the doggies. I've got that recycling I need to clean up, hello. And it's honestly the comfiest, coziest thing and I just love it. So I just wanted to say a massive thank you again to Dusk for really, really kindly gifting me the most beautiful, ideal, dreamy sofas. These are honestly everything that I want. I said to Bradley, like when we buy a house and stuff, like these sofas, we're just gonna have for years. <laughs> I can tell. They've also got a cuddle sofa. So it's like a small, it's kind of like this one, but just with one cushion, but it's quite wide. So it's like one of those like cuddle sofas. Um, and they also have that as well and I'm obsessed with it but I don't think we would have been able to fit it in here so I'm really happy with these two and the quality is just insane and they're just so comfy. I had a nap on it yesterday <laughs> for like 20 minutes and it was great. So yeah, thank you so much Dusk and I'll pop the links to the sofas and the cushions and the throw all in the description box down below for you guys to shop. Good morning everyone. It is the next day. It's such a nice day today. This is my favourite weather. It's blue sky. Like I can't see one cloud. But it's like cold and crispy. Oh I love it so much. I have woken up today with a little bit of hay fever. Do you know when it gets to the point where you can just constantly feel it? I have taken an antihistamine but I feel like I need to take them before I go to bed to like catch it if that makes sense. I feel like if any of you have hay fever bad you will know what I'm talking about. But I can just feel it. I can feel it like growing on my face and my eyes feel really itchy. I'm just sitting on the sofas and I honestly just love them so much. I'm such a huge fan of them. Like the colour of them and the style of them, the feel of them, everything about them is amazing. And I love the black accent cushions. So I'm really happy with it. When Bradley came home last night, I should have filmed it, but we went to his mum's. So we were rushing as soon as he got back from work. But he was like, I'm obsessed with the sofas. He obviously saw them the day before, but like with the black cushions and stuff. And I just love it. And honestly, it feels really different in here, but in like a really nice way. I feel like this is exactly what we needed. So I'm very happy. I'm just drinking my iced latte, um, but it is very strong today. I just suffer from the hallway. This is what you see. Excuse the blankets because I'm just sitting about to edit and do my emails. Um, but I just really love it. So, like I said yesterday, we went to Bradley's mum and dad's, um, and for Christmas we done Secret Santa, but I got my Secret Santa yesterday because we just kept forgetting that the presents were there. Um, and they got me a really nice perfume, which is from Libra. It's not from Libra, it's from YSL and it's the Libra perfume. And then also this, and this is, I'm so excited to show you, because I feel like you guys are gonna love this as much as me, and I thought, this is perfect to show you guys today. So it's from Rituals and it's the most beautiful diffuser ever. Like look how stunning this bottle is, it's like ribbed. And I also have a Rituals candle that my cousin and his amazing fiance got for me, and Bradley, mainly me though. Um, and it matches, so I'm so happy. So they got a large one and then they also got it for me in the mini. Look how cute. So I've got two. So I think I'm gonna pop the mini one on the black table and then the larger one here. I just love smelly things, as you guys know. obsessed with these and they honestly you guys my house smells amazing already i love them so as you can see they're like ribbed and that's the candle this one's actually really big it sticks a little bit on the telly but hey ho watch your modern family as always and then this is the smaller one and it is the cutest thing i've ever seen and it looks really lovely on this side table i'm so happy with it and like i said it smells amazing 
So I know in the beginning of the video, I said to you guys, I got some gym clothes from Tesco's and I thought I could show you guys. I was meant to do it yesterday and I completely forgot. And then I was like, oh my God, I need to show you all because they've got some amazing gym bits at the moment. So I did pick up a couple of bits. So this is the first thing. It's a really nice navy jacket. I got it in a size 14 because I like them a little bit more oversized than tight. The inside is really, it's like the most soft material ever, but really warm. Um, it says £19.50, but I remember I got this for like, I think it was like £12.50 or something. It was on club card, so it was cheaper, um, and I love it. Oh, I've just realised. So the back of it is more of the fleecy kind of material, but it's really thin fleece, and then the front of it is this, so it's a little bit more breathable. Um, so I really like it. I don't have any navy gym wear at all, and I thought, oh my god, I really like that. And then it's got the holes here for your thumbs, which is really handy. So I really like that one. To go with it, I got some plain navy leggings. Got these in a size 12. Wish I got them in a size 10. I have tried them on. I just tried to put them back on the hanger. Um, they were £16, but I think, again, they were cheaper with Club Card. They're really nice, really breathable, just really lovely, high-quality gym leggings. So, got those to match the gym top. Um, and then I picked up this white top. Again, I got it in an oversized for me because I like things like this to be really baggy and not tight in the slightest. And I thought, the bigger size that I go, the more comfortable I kind of feel. And you know on days where you just don't want anything tight and you're working out and you're just like, yeah, I need something a lot more breathable. So I picked up this, £15. I'm not sure if this was cheaper or not. I think this was just £15. But I really like the tie bits here. It adds a little bit of ruche to each to each side and it looks really flattering on. Um, so I really like that. And it's a t-shirt, really thin, so you can wear it underneath um, the jacket, which is really nice. And then lastly, I picked up this. So they only had either sizes 18 or size 6. So I got for it, so I got an 18. And I thought, again, I thought, again, it's really nice and oversized. This colour is beautiful. I don't have anything like it. It was £12.50. Um, it's such a breathable kind of material. And I really like this bit. I don't know if you can see. It kind of crosses over. Um, and it's just so lovely really flattering on and I can wear it with those leggings I wanted some stuff that I can literally just mix and match and I feel like I'd done that but yeah can you see here it kind of like knots at the bottom it's really lovely so that is what I went for and then I also picked up some socks um, but they're upstairs so yeah I always get asked on my favorite gym wear and I really do love affordable gym wear like Tesco's H&M Primark I think Primark is probably my least favorite but I think you can find the odd piece but in terms of like quality and the price and stuff, I really think H&M, Tesco's and Glow Mode are just my go-to um, and I really love them. So I'm so happy with this. Let me know what your favourite thing is in the comments down below. A lot of you guys always ask me to share gym wear, so I thought I would. Anyway, my lovelies, I am going to end this video here. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it and enjoyed the living room transformation, our healthy food shop, my Tesco's little haul, and just some cosy days at home together. I'm gonna sit <laughs> right there with my laptop, which is here, um, and edit this video. So yeah, I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments down below any video requests you guys have. I know I always ask you, but just please write as many as you want because Obviously, I want to put out videos that you guys are interested in and you guys want to see. I actually think I might film an affordable gym wear haul. I haven't done a haul in ages, I feel like, um, and I really love them. I upload twice a week, so it's like I do, I want at least one of my videos to be a vlog and then the other one to be a sit-down video. I don't like doing two sit-down videos in a go. I don't know why, I just like to keep updated with you guys, but I think I might film, even trying on those things, an affordable gym wear haul, like high quality, easy to buy let me know if you want to see that i have some stuff that i bought from h&m and i've saved it so i think i could like share that as well and then maybe get a couple more pieces and then i could do a whole video together i think i might do that because you guys always ask me you're always so sweet about the gym wear that i wear and i like to buy affordable things that are really high quality so yeah i might film that but anyway my lovelies i love you guys so much thank you for watching as always and supporting please give this video a thumbs up as it helps support me and my channel so much and i will see you guys on sunday for my next video